Oh my god, I'm falling. Oh my shit. Fuck me. I'm fucking dead. I literally almost just ate shit. Monday fun day, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna do a Q&A, but we're gonna make it a little bit fun, all right? Y'all asked me a bunch of questions. However, we're gonna make a drinking roll out of it. You can drink water if you want to. Like, it's all right. It's all good. But as long as you drink something, like being, you know, you gotta be like inclusive, like, Mm, I'm drunk. The, the rules to my channel are when I drink, you drink. If you're under 21, drink water, okay? After each question, we're gonna flip a coin. Let me do that correctly. And if it's tails, we're gonna drink. We're doing this together. We're on the same team. I'm kind of scared because I actually haven't read through them yet. Okay, first one's not too bad. What is your favorite Disney film if you had to pick one? Um, I would say probably The Lion King. That was a terrible flip. It's tails, we drink y'all, cheers. Why is my phone, my phone's going crazy. My phone, literally, look at this. Do you see that? Do you see that? Okay, what the fuck? Question number two. What made you want to start at YouTube? That's a good question. So, <laughs> if you have been friends with me on Snapchat, you know that I love to rant. I always rant, I like, I just, talk a lot and same thing with like my Instagram and for years people have been telling me like you should get a YouTube channel you should get a YouTube channel you should get a YouTube channel and I never did it recently like there was just one person who said it and I was like honestly I might as like y'all either just want me to shut the fuck up which that's probably honestly what it is <laughs> or you really want me to start a YouTube channel but like different people were saying it so I was like fuck it like I'll start a YouTube channel tails she is Oh my god, guys, I was missing one earring the whole time and nobody told me? That's literally rude. Tough life. I drink, you drink. Next question. Where do you enjoy living at? Nova or California and why? Okay, so for those of you who don't know, Nova is Northern Virginia. As far as like my friends and my family, 100% Nova. But California has sort of like this First of all, every, the weather is amazing, especially in San Diego, 75 year round. Like I'm not complaining, you know what I'm saying? But everybody here is like super nice and super happy most of the time. Drink break. Also, I just want to say my camera was dead and it took like a very long time to charge. So like this is my third. So y'all need to catch up, cheers. But California, if I could force all of my friends and family to move here, I would. Like if I could literally force them, I would force them to move here. San Diego is such an underrated place. Like, I don't think anybody, when they think of California, they think of San Diego. They think of like LA, you know, cause that's where everyone talks about like in the movies. But San Diego, like I came here and I've never been somewhere that literally just felt like home. I don't know how to explain it. You just like gotta come here and experience it for yourself. Tails. What is the weirdest thing you've ever experienced? Okay, so. I think the weirdest thing that I've experienced and still do experience is sleep paralysis. I don't know if you guys know what sleep paralysis is, but when you go to sleep, your body, like your brain, like releases a chemical that paralyzes your body so that you don't act out your dreams, okay? So like people who sleepwalk have the opposite problem. Their brain didn't release enough of the chemical, okay? But people who have sleep paralysis have the opposite problem with that, where their body released too much of that chemical. When they are awake, like their brain is awake and they're opening their eyes, their body's still paralyzed. So you're still like kind of half asleep and you hallucinate and you see things. So you'll be in your bed just like, like try, like you can see your room. Like if somebody walked into my room and this has happened, like somebody walked into my room and I could tell them exactly what they did, but I can't move, I can't speak, I can't yell. The only thing I control is how fast I'm breathing like one of the weirdest things. And if y'all want me to make a separate video on that, I totally can. Tails. Oh my God. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. It's tail. Next question. Favorite movie. I would have to say one of the best movies that I can think of is Speed. And I don't know why. I think I, I just like that movie with Sandra. Is it Bullock or Bullock? Who the fuck? I don't have. I still don't know how to say that and I've been thinking about that since like seventh grade. Whenever Miss Congeniality came out, like that, I've been like, oh, is it Bullock or Bullock? I don't fucking know. Favorite food, pizza, ba damn show. Types of guys that you like. Oh, see, that's a hard question because 
the types of guys that I'm attracted to and the types of guys that I end up liking and like dating are very different. The types of people that I actually end up dating are usually like you've got to be entertaining because I mean remember guys I have like ADD so like if you're funny, if you're witty, if you're smart like and you can keep me mentally like astute, I'm happy. But if you're just like boring or bland, I can't, I can't do it. I'm bored. So really for me, it's like more personality than anything. Like you've got to make me laugh. I think that's number one, if I had to say. When is my birthday? October 5th. Libra baby. Why is your name Steph and is there any story behind it? Okay, so like this question, I don't know if he means why is my name Stephanie Telly or why is it Stephanie? So my name is Stephanie because my mom <laughs> I asked her actually like a few years ago, very recently, why, like how'd they come up with Stephanie, right? And she said it was, she opened up a phone book and literally just like put her finger on a name and then that's how they picked my name. As far as the telly, Stephanie Telly, that is not my last name, obviously not my real last name. Um, I'm just like not creative and I was doing YouTube. So I was like, oh, telly, like television. Oh my god, don't tell people that, that's embarrassing. This is gonna be such a bad video, guys. I'm, I accidentally got so drunk, I'm so sorry. Yo, I'm not making this shit up, it's tails. It's tails. Can you see it? Oh, it's fucking tails. What are your dreams and goals? Honestly, I my dreams and my goals are, it's gonna sound so freaking cliche, but I just want to travel. I really, I just want to see the world. Like, I just want to see the world and I want to spend as much time as I possibly can with the people that I care about. Like my mom, my sister, my family, and like my really good friends. Like that's, those are my goals. Like I just want to feel like rich in life with the relationships and experiences that I've had. Oh, we gotta flip, we gotta flip, we gotta flip. Okay, that was a lame flip. Head safe, oh my God, thank the Lord, baby Jesus. Ooh, ooh, this is a hard one. What's the perfect date night for you? Oh man, see that's a hard one because for me it's more of like who I'm with, not, not as much like what we're doing. Ah man, that's a hard one, let me think. Really, honestly, it could be anything as long as you're like making me laugh. Like I'm not, I'm not super picky. I will say I've been on some pretty dope dates. Like the, there's been a few dates that I'm like, I don't think they can ever be topped. Like two of them, there are two that can stick, that stick out in my mind specifically. Um, one was I went to a jaw roll concert, which honestly that, date was kind of like an accident like we were supposed to go with other people and then nobody wanted to go and then I guess because it was just me and him he like offered to pay to be nice and then it became kind of like a date and but that was like really fucking fun and if you know me you know like a like I'm not obsessed but like I used to be when I was like, growing up obsessed with like job role and Ashanti and like murder ink and like all that stuff like it was so lit it was so much fun the second one was somebody that I dated took me on a hot air balloon and it was, oh my God, so beautiful. We did champagne, like we did that whole thing. And it was, it was just something that like, it was beautiful. So what would it take for a man to sweep you off your feet? <laughs> a fucking lot. Let me tell you a fucking lot. Like I'm, listen, I'm single for a reason. Like I'm a handful, okay guys? I'm gonna have to give a little bit a lot of it of credit to my ex-boyfriends because I've been treated very well. Like anyone I've ever dated has treated me pretty much like a princess and like I love them so much for that and I'm gonna give them all the credit in the world. Like I've been very, very, very lucky with the people that I've dated. So when I like meet people, I go on like dates. I don't really go on dates that often. Like it's very rare, but like when I go on dates with people and they don't, if they don't open the door, if they don't like, pull slide the chair for me. Like those little things that I'm just like kind of used to, I'm like, you're canceled. Sorry, like get it together. I'm sorry, but like chivalry is not dead. It's not dead. And like people think that it's dead, but that's, the people that think that it's dead, you're at such a 
a disadvantage because there are people that know that it's not and they're getting all your girls, bruh. I'm just letting you know right now, all of them. They're getting all of them. I don't even know if I answered that question. It would just take a lot to sweep me off my feet. Like you'd have to be like really fucking perfect and really fucking funny and really fucking smart and do everything right. <laughs> Honestly, like I'm just happy being alone right now, I guess, because I don't want to give anybody shit for not being perfect because nobody's perfect. That makes sense. That does make sense. Who's my favorite singer and what are my favorite songs? So I would have to say right now, Kane Brown is a country singer and I didn't used to like country until last year when I moved to San Diego. Oh my God, I keep skipping the fucking coins. Jesus Christ. This video is a fucking mess. I'm so sorry. Who's your favorite singer and what are the favorite songs? I would have to say Kane Brown and Joyner Lucas. Kane Brown is a country singer. I just love his stuff. And I don't really, I didn't lose, used to listen to country until I moved here. Um, but I noticed that country has, a, the lyrics are very, they're meaningful. And it's one of the only, I guess, what's it called, a genre? That has, still has meaningful lyrics. One of, like there are still some rap and stuff, but like not all. Also Joyner Lucas. Joyner Lucas, he's rap and he's like, a fucking amazing, amazing. If you don't know who that is, like look him up. He's amazing. Are you single? Oh, bold with a bold question. Okay, we'll drink for that one. Um, I am single. Now, am I looking? That's a different, that's a different question. What's your biggest fear? My biggest fear is losing somebody that I love. 100%. I've lost people that I loved in the past and like, I would say maybe losing someone that I love unexpectedly is my biggest fear. Do people hang out on the beach this time of year? Yeah, with sweaters. It's like not like super hot, but it, yeah, you can totally hang out on the beach. Why do you keep talking about your ex? Ah, yo, stop. I think the only video I talked about my ex was when, when I did the makeup video, cause he bought me the palette. And cause I was saying like where everything else where I got it, and I didn't buy that, so I was like, oh, my ex-boyfriend got me this. I don't know where he got it. Probably Sephora. Everything's from Sephora. Let me think a little bit harder to see if I, I said something else. I did, I did, I did. I mentioned my ex-boyfriend in the ghost, uh, you know, honestly, I mentioned my ex-boyfriend in the ghost video, but that was um, the ghost video part two. Um, but, I don't think that's like a bad thing. Like to me, he was a huge part of my life and like we already went through this. I've been treated very well. I have zero animosity. There's only one ex-boyfriend that I have that I will never speak to again, but like all of the rest of them, like zero animosity. I love them and I, I like I'm not in love with them, but I love them and I always care for them. I dated them for a reason, okay? And I, I really hate when people talk shit about their exes because like you dated them. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's like, don't be mean. Like. At one point you love them or like them at least. I don't have a problem talking about my exes and I don't have a problem when other people talk about their exes as long as I'm not dating them and they're like, oh my God, I'm so in love with her. Then I'm, then it's a problem, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna do this head, this flip coin thing a couple times because I know that I missed it a lot of times in the fucking thing. All right, ready? Tails. Can you see? It's fucking, it's fucking tail. Oh, bitch. We gonna get fucked up today, Monday night. Let's get litty. It's tail, it's tails, it's tails. I'm not lying, I'm not a liar. Hold up. Yo, this is like not okay. It's tails. Oh my God, I'm gonna get so drunk. Oh, there's one more question. All right, so Carrie Ann asked, I know that she asked this, my phone's really fucked up, but I know she asked this at some point. She asked, what is my skincare regimen? Let me tell you, girl. As of recently, because until this year, I never did shit. Like, but let me promise you, I never did anything. It was, it's Olay Regener, Regener, I see that? And then also this eye wrinkle thing. I already gave my secret. I said, if there's one thing that I'm gonna tell you that I'm gonna help you out with, it's this. And it's, it is Mary Kay C 
CC cream. Like, dude, I'm telling you, it's 20 freaking dollars. And I think there are only like four shades, but it's kind of like a foundation slash like lotion. So it's kind of in the middle. So it doesn't like cover your face in a totally wrong color if it doesn't match perfectly. It kind of blends. I don't know how else to explain it, but this one, this one's medium to deep. It gives you like a glow. I don't know why. And when I'm tan or when I'm not tan, which right now I'm not, like it still gives me a glow. This is it, dude. I'm telling you, Mary Kay, I've put so many of my friends on this and they all love it. Like anytime they use it, they're like, what was that stuff? I'm telling you, like this is it. So that was it, y'all. I don't really know how to end this, but like we're just gonna like cheers and then I'll see you guys on Thursday. Illy, oh my god, I almost broke the camera. Fuck. <laughs>